The Senate's Armed Services Committee has been updated on the war in Afghanistan. A top U.S. general warned that progress against the insurgency there will probably be slower than during the buildup of U.S. forces in Iraq two years ago. The U.S. ambassador to Afghanistan, Carl Eikenberry, also attended the hearing. Liu Yue has this story. Speaking to the Senate Foreign Relations Committee on Wednesday, General David Petria said the war will become harder before it gets easier. He approved the escalation of U.S. forces in Afghanistan. Let me state up front that I fully support the policy President Obama announced at West Point last week. Success in Afghanistan is necessary and attainable, but the challenges are great. As the head of U.S. Central Command, Petraeus is in charge of drawing down forces in Iraq and overseeing a new surge of 30,000 U.S. troops in Afghanistan. He says increased fighting is expected in the spring and the summer in this country. He told lawmakers that Obama's new policy will enable the U.S. to make important progress over the next 18 months. The Senate Foreign Relations Committee Chairman Senator John Kerry opened the hearing and emphasized the importance of security with Afghanistan's neighbor, Pakistan. On this issue, General Petraeus met a blunt question. Day. Do you agree that there is a risk that sending more troops will, could just push militants over the border? Uh, there, there is uh, indeed a risk that our operations could lead some of these uh, elements to, to seek sanctuary in Afghanistan, uh, particularly, frankly, the leaders, uh, those that have the resources to do that. I'm sorry, in Pakistan. And that is why we're working very hard uh, to coordinate our operations more effectively with our Pakistani partners. The United States now has about 68,000 soldiers in Afghanistan. The additional troops are expected to be sent to the war zone by the summer or autumn next year. The plan is to reverse the momentum of Taliban militants and the law for an aggressive U.S. withdrawal starting in July 2011. CCTV. In a related story, a NATO spokesman said members of the International Security Assistance Force have committed 6,800 more troops to Afghanistan. The decision was made at the Force Generation Conference on Monday. The spokesman, James Apaturai, said the Allies also pledged support for a training mission involving 150 army and 340 police teams. The NATO-led International Security Assistance Force is made up of troops from 44 countries, including 28 NATO members. Total members of the force have now surpassed 80,000 of those almost half are non-U.S. forces.